I received a question from Dave Kaiser who asks, how do I link an XREF to a GoToView, and why would I want to do that? Well, the short answer to that question is that you may want to control what layers are displayed within an XREF the same way that you would control which layers are currently displayed in the main drawing. And that's by utilizing GoToViews. And some of you may already know that DataCAD's GoToView feature allows you to take what you're currently looking at and give it a name. And that GoToView will remember what layers are on and off, what your current viewing position is, and what your current display scale is. So in this example file, I've got six layers with text corresponding to each layer, and then a seventh layer that I'm going to use for the XREF, and that happens to be the active layer. I'm going to go to the Insert menu and select Self XREF. Whether I use XREF, an external reference file, or Self XREF, referencing the file into itself, uh, doesn't matter. Um, either one can be linked to a GoToView. So I'm going to select Self XREF, and then DataCAD is going to give me an Extents box, and then I'm going to place that to the right of the native drawing data. Now DataCAD is going to bring up the Reference File Manager with that particular XREF highlighted, and then I can see some other information about that uh, reference, which happens to be the active drawing, uh, and those are the seven layers that I told you about. Well, just below that, I've got go to view link, and that is off by default. Well, I'm going to turn that on and recognize that that applies only to this particular instance. Uh, the go to view link option is not a global setting. Uh, it only applies to this particular XREF. And then I'm going to click OK. So now what's going to happen going forward is when I add a new go to view or I update an existing go to view DataCAD's going to keep track of what layers were on and off uh, in this particular XREF. So I'm going to press V for views or go to views and we can see that there are no views currently listed because I haven't created any and I'm going to go ahead and select add view. Now at the bottom of the screen I can see DataCAD is prompting me for the new view. It's called View 1. I can customize that name or just press Enter to accept it. And now we've got View 1 on the list. So to illustrate what that go to view does for us, I'm going to go to the Layer menu, go to On Off, and I'm going to turn off a few layers. And then I'm going to zoom into a particular part of the file, pretend I'm making some edits here. But now I want to get back to that original view that I had, and I want to turn all of those layers that were associated with that view back on. So I'm just going to press the V key, and I can do this at any time that I'm editing my drawing. Press View 1, and that brings that view back to the screen. So this is a very fast way to navigate your file. Now to explore this a little further, I'm going to go back to the uh, layer menu, and I'm going to turn off every other layer. And then I'm going to come over to the XREF, double click on that. Double clicking on that XREF is uh, one way to bring up the reference file manager with that XREF highlighted. And I'm going to turn off every other layer in this file, and click OK. So now we can see on the left, we've got layer 1, 3, and 5 being displayed. And within the XREF to the right, we've got layer 4, uh, 2, and 6 being displayed. So now I'm going to press the V key again and add a view. I'm going to call this view 2. Now I'm going to do the same thing, only slightly differently. I'm going to go back to the layer menu. I'm going to use the on-off feature, and I'm going to reverse what layers are being displayed in the native drawing. And then I'm going to double-click on the XREF again, and do the same thing there, and reverse which layers are being displayed. Now I'm going to go back to the Go to View menu, and I'm going to add a third view. 
So now when I recall view 1, I get our original view. And then when I call view 2 or 3, you can see that the layer changes, uh, which layers are on and off changes, not only in the native drawing on the left, but also in the reference file on the right. So prior to this feature being added, the only way to achieve this with XREFs would be to have multiple instances and within each one of those instances manually turn on and off the layers and then have each one of those layers, um, excuse me, each one of those XREFs on its own layer and then have go to views which turn those layers on and off and those corresponding XREFs on and off as well. So you can imagine that you would have uh, potentially dozens if not hundreds of references of the same file uh, to achieve you know, what you can now do uh, with one instance and multiple go to views. So I hope that was helpful and uh, if you have any questions feel free to post your comments and uh, questions below this video in the discussion area, and thanks for listening.